Hi everyone, Jenny from the Bridgewater Public Library. This week I'm going to be showing you how to fold a hummingbird. Uh, this fold is very similar to the crane fold, but a little bit different and in honor of spring. All you'll need for today's fold is a piece of paper. Uh, a pencil might help you with one part of the fold, but it's not necessary. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to start with the pattern side down. Fold the paper in half both ways. In half one way, open. And then in half the other way, open. Now fold the paper in half diagonally. Open, flip the paper over, and fold it in half diagonally the other way. Now we're going to compress the paper in on itself so that we get a nice little compressed box shape. So you're going to pick the paper up. These lines here are going to become your new edges and you're going to fold the paper in on itself. Against the folds that you just created. Once you have that, with the open sides facing you, you're going to fold this edge to meet the center line. And then do the same thing on the other side. So this edge is going to meet the center line. Flip the paper over and do the same thing on the other side. So this edge is going to meet the center line. And on the other side, this edge is going to meet the center line. Now you're going to open these little flaps and open up and fold back against it, the, the creases that you've just created to open this all the way up. You can flatten it out. Now you're going to flip the paper over and do the same thing on this side. Open the curtains, flip the paper open, but this time, instead of opening it all the way up, you're going to fold it back down. So rather than opening it up, you're going to fold it back down, okay? So you should have something that looks like this open on one side and closed on the other. Now you're going to fold the paper in half along the center line. You want to make sure that the side that has the opening is going to face out. So not like this, but rather the open edges we want out. Okay, so you're gonna fold it in half. Right now, we're going to open this top piece and fold it in. Okay, so we're going to open and fold down and in the top piece. to create the head. This next step, you can leave your head like this 
or to make it a little bit more refined, you're going to open up the fold you just created and fold this line here into the center. like this. Grab your pencil and use it to open up this little pocket here. It's okay if you get pencil on your paper. And then compress it down. And then we're going to repeat that on the other side. So you're going to take this line and fold it to meet the center. use your pencil to open up this little pocket here, compress it down. Now we're going to fold the head back up. This just allows for the beak to be a little narrower, which is a little bit more like a hummingbird. The last step is going to be folding the wings up. So you're going to take one of these wing pieces, fold it back, flip the paper over, and repeat on the other side. You can line it up with your other wing, and you've got your complete hummingbird.